Yeah, hi everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating my thesis project that I have built for uh, my PGD program, postgraduate program for University of Hyderabad in AI and machine learning. So I'll be quickly sharing my screen and share my project, what I have built and how I deployed my solution end to end. So as you can see my screen, uh, I have the objective of my project is to make a full-fledged information retrieval system as well as the Q&A system so that if anyone has a query or if anyone someone searches any kind of a question from the Google it can directly point us to the uh, document where the particular answer is present and we can customize it to according to our needs so it can be used for uh, for the support classification for support tickets where the KB articles and other relevant documents are there and uh, customer needs a desired solution where that exact error or about that error is mentioned. So this is my front end app and first I will be demonstrating uh, my solution and then we will go to my architecture. So I use the Envil to deploy my solution and which is asking us to give us the question. So this is the data set we have used is the career village data set which is having the questions and answer related to the career and the experts that are present on this platform have answered the questions for these students. It is very similar to what we have the data sets for Quora and the questions that people generally ask on Quora. So this is the original data set that has been provided as an open source and we use that career village data set in, uh, in this project. And we have more than 100K documents or uh, you can say 100K different documents where the answers is present and it is, uh, we have wide variety of questions uh, streaming for all the career options. So let me take a few examples to demonstrate what to do to become pilot. So let's say this is my query. I need to ask this. So I'll run this query and uh, at the back end it will it is fetching on the relevant documents. More than 100k document is re-ranking and providing me the exact answer from the context. So it is giving me studying engineering college, then going to military flight school and the context, which is making more sense. The Air Force is Navy. So I would suggest studying engineering. So like how it picked that answer. It is giving the context to the military flight school to become pilot. Then second answer, it is giving me uh, passing a commercial pilot ground school and logging at least 250 flight hours to get how to become a pilot and you can earn your certificate by commercial pilot. So it is dedicating to that document and it can result, it can give you the output entire document as well and the exact answer. So let us ask second question. Uh, what do, what do we ask? Let's say data scientist. Yeah, so this is my second question that I'm asking and it will fetch all the documents. So the answer is create predictive and prescriptive models. And this is the relevant context from where it picked the answer. Then we have the data visualization specialist because someone has answered with that context, working with the data to do something useful. That's a kind of answer we were expecting it to do. Uh, last we can search. What do civil Right, so if someone has answered <clears throat> this question in the context related to civil engineering and what is the role, so we'll get that answer, else it will return us that we don't have any answer. So the first answer we got design and build roads and bridges. Okay, so that is one of the answer. The second best answer is that is based on the scores that we are getting the ranking. Design and build the nation in, nation's infrastructure. And the third is designing building, maintaining public works, and this is the relevant context for that uh, for that answer. <clears throat> now let me go through the architecture of our information retrieval plus q and A. This is only the IR part of that. So whatever query I'm sending on the front end, so it is getting processed using natural language processing, and we have thousands and uh, like in our case we have hundred k documents, more than hundred k documents in our use case. It will be indexing those and the query that we passed and the index documents that we have, it will compare all of them <clears throat> using your TF IDF scores and it will convert it into all the like vectors form and it will compare the 
similar documents. So that what we call in IR system is relevance document matrix. So it will fetch all the relevant documents. And in my code, I have used top 50 documents that needs to be fetched for a query. And then uh, we have the like top 50 documents in our place. And on we will use those 50 documents to fetch the answer that we need for that query. So the first part is very simple. Uh, we convert everything into vector space and all the documents are converted into vector space and we use the relevance algorithm. So we can use several algorithms and in my solution, I have a scope of using any of the three. We have TF-IDF score. Other one we have is BM25, which is very famous for uh, best, matching, uh, best matching algorithm, which is used by search engines to estimate the relevance of document given in a search query. That is actually used by search engines uh, like Google and other. And this is the formula. It also used some part of IDF score uh, with the calculation of relevance document matrix. And that number, we can specify how many top documents we want out of all the corpus. And the latest is, uh, latest algorithm is FAIS FAST, uh, which is published by Facebook, which is the FAST AI similarity search, which is an efficient graph-based algorithm, which use the nearest neighbor KNN algorithm to get all my nearest, uh, like the documents related to my query. So that is the first part. And if I go to my second part of Q&A, what is the architecture? So, so once my query is processed, it will check all the meaning, like semantic meaning from the query that what has been asked. So it will uh, find out all the entity matching, what is my attention, like it, it is a, a transformer based system. So it will calculate all the relevance of that query what has been asked and the meaning out of that extract the meaning out of that query and finally if i talk about the full architecture so we have seen once we have these documents ranked so we will pass these passages or uh, we can say the query to these answer uh, these passages and the query will extract the exact meaning where that line is present like in our demonstration i asked what do civil engineers do so it will extract, they build bridges, roads, infrastructure. So that's a precise answer that has been picked by reading the context within that document and getting the semantic meaning out of that. And will it will return the answer to it. So this is the overall architecture where the first documents are re-ranked to get the relevance metrics. And then we use those top 50 documents to extract the answer and we are returning top three answers based on the scores that we are given. And if I talk about my model i used the robot uh, robot architecture of the q a pipeline of the transformer model so this is my raw data set where i have answer ids and the answer body available to me and i have done all the pre-processing and cleaning of the text and made it into a document store which i have set up using a haystack and i've created my document store of all the documents and i'm using here cuda as well so after pre-processing, you can see I've converted into the JSON where the content is there and I can read my answers of everything. And once I've processed, I've created the Q&A pipeline where I am retrieving the top 50 documents and my top K will be my three with it for which the answer has been fetched. And I'm using my deep set Robert a large squad to uh, state of the art language model where it is getting the semantic meaning out of that. So let's say I've asked this, how civil engineers spend his day. So this is another form. Uh, I've modified the meaning. Uh, earlier I used, what do civil engineers do? But in this example, I've asked how civil engineers spend his day. So it is still able to extract that meaning out of that context, what I am trying to ask. So it is giving me the precise answer, build building. And the context is giving me why it has answered this uh, particular thing, build building, because it is mentioned in that civil engineers builds building. So that is how it is making use of the semantic meaning and it is ex ex exactly uh, understanding the text behind, the context behind the ask question and giving me the top three answers, design things that don't move, design and oversee construction. Okay, so second, you can see how LinkedIn uh, helped me find new opportunities. So again, if I see the answers, search for jobs, what is how LinkedIn is helping me following organization and groups that you are interested, it will help you to join that. LinkedIn is a great platform for finding the internship opportunities. So things like that. And I've published my entire uh, project onto this app, which is made in the Envil. And you can, anyone having this link, it is access, can be accessed worldwide. I've deployed this full-fledged app and solution. 
and uh, yeah you can search anything related to career let's take something related to law uh which is the best college study law so uh, if if that context has been there in our uh, in our documents then it will be fresh else it will return some uh, proxy that yeah we couldn't able to find this particular question if that is not there so yeah you have got that du has three centers for law university of delhi one is the campus law of center national law school of india university so that's how we built our complete end to end ir information retrieval plus q and a system that will precisely answer to all your queries and this can be trained on any kind of a data set so for this particular project i have used career village data set but yeah that can be used in any company related documents some product related information and can be used where people needs to get the answer really quickly thank you